So in the last video, we did download Jenkins, install Jenkins, secure it, and added a Jenkins user. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to forward Jenkins to port 80 instead of using 8080 and specify it in the URL. So let us start. <laughs> First, you have to be sure that you have the Apache HTTP daemon is installed. So let us start by install it. After that, we need to do some modifications to the configuration file of the Apache. We go all the way down and I'm going to put some configuration. I'm going to go through them now again with you guys to clarify them. So first of all, it's the proxy pass. The proxy pass, we are mapping the remote server into the local server. So for example, we are mapping the slash Jenkins to this one. And then we are adding a no cannon, which means like the URL path is raw we are sending into the back end then the proxy pass reverse is you are adjusting the URL in the HTTP response headers which is sent in the reverse from the reverse server for both the re proxy requests and the allow encoded slashes I'm just disabling them for security purposes so you need to do that after that, you need to add that proxy. You show that that localhost 8080 backslash Jenkins is there and you are allowing it from all. But in production, you need to add only the sources that you need to have it from in case you don't want anyone to access the Jenkins from outside if that is in a public uh, subnet. So after that, we're going to save the file and then we're going to do configuration changes to Jenkins sysconfig. You go to the Jenkins arguments and then we add to the Jenkins another prefix that we tell them that we will be using the Jenkins slash Jenkins. Then we need to restart both the Apache and the Jenkins but before that let me add one more thing if you have the C Linux enabled then you need to enable something called the HTTPD can network connect so in some cases you should enable it by putting true or one so I'm gonna set the boolean of this one to true and if you want it to be active after the reboot, so you want to put the P capital. Some cases should work also one. So let us do both of them. Now we need to restart both of the Jenkins and the HTTPD daemon. Now let us go and try Jenkins without specifying the port 8080 anymore and see if that proxy forward is going to work or we're going to have any problems. Now it's running on 8080. Let us remove it and put the slash Jenkins. So it's running fine. So that's all for today guys. Until we meet again. Bye.